Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and to the French campaign where we have taken Eastern China. Uh, Russia has still disappeared. Uh, Austria-Hungary is the main beneficiary of that, though. They are blobbing up. How big is their fleet currently? Pretty sizable. Um, Economy-wise, though, <laughs> not a patch. Uh, French economy is going absolutely bananas. Now we're at peace and we have, well, access to a truly vast uh, amount of resources. What is happening in America? That's weird. Uh, I'm surprised they got negative growth when they're not at war. Uh, they do have a... Maybe it's an election coming up. Because uh, the right-wing party is going to lose and they're going to get a centre-party government. Um, that's probably what's going on. Italy is <laughs> on the verge of collapse. Um, Japan looks okay. Uh, and everyone else is doing fine. Uh, so, I, I guess that's that. Uh, in terms of what we're doing, um, I don't think I have any... Any new designs coming up anytime soon? No, the next thing we're getting is the uh, modernized dreadnoughts, modern battleships. We get four hulls with this, uh, which is pretty crazy. We're not getting anything here, are we? Nope. Um, anything here? Oh, yes. Do I have modern destroyer compact? No, but we are getting a new destroyer. That is very, very good. Um, but other than that, I think our best use of this time is to get some refits done. So I'm going to spread this out um, so that I'm not spending too much money. Um, I'm only on 50% crew and tech at the moment. Because, um, uh, yeah, my uh, <laughs> emergency funds were wiped out by that uh, event, so I really need to get that built up again. Uh, next on the list are the Britannians, so, or oh, Britannias, Britann, Britann, Britann. Right, let's go into refit mode. Uh, now, <laughs> uh, we do have access to triple secondary guns. So I think I will make use of that and stick in triple 155s rather than twin. And we can replace the 80 millimeters with triple 80s. I took a torpedo launcher off by mistake. There we go. So that is a significant upgrade in the secondary firepower. Now, we do have access to triple and quad uh, main guns, which is very interesting. So these are 300 mil. What's the difference here? Yeah, we don't have access to the super triples yet. Um... We've got okay triples, but they're not as good as twins. So I'm going to leave the main guns as twins for now. Uh, we can upgrade two gear turbines. Get rid of the coal. Hawks diesel. Uh, improved electrics. Better prop shafts. Armor. Uh, protection in general. Uh, shells. Mm, ooh, that's new. Semi-automatic guns. 24-inch torps, just for the lols. Um, going for all coincidence one to coincidence four. Rangefinder. Damn. That is, uh... That is quite the upgrade. And those 155s, we can make them 45 caliber. Now, can we push the speed to 21 knots? 
Yes, we can. How about 23 knots? Uh, I'm starting to lose efficiency. Uh, with a balanced boiler? Mm. 22 with a balanced? Yeah, let's go 22 with a balanced boiler. Um, that's, a, that's a tidy, tidy little upgrade. Uh, I will authorize that and get it going and see you in a, well, when I'm ready to do the next one. Welcome back. We've got some building to do. Um, I had, I totally missed the fact that I had Dreadnought 6, uh, which we can make up to, th these are really, really fat ships. The Valorous is 38,000 tons. This thing, to get a decent, decent length, is coming in at 50. Um, so I do this fairly regularly when I have these super fat hulls. I'm going to put minus five beam and draft on it. Uh, and we're going to go for 45,000 tons. So I can, oh no, I'm not. Go for the 50,000 tons still. So I can get a little bit of length on the hull without it being stupidly thick. Um... What? This one is better than this one and cheaper. Okay. Makes no sense. Wow, that is enormous. What about this one? Still huge. Can I get it any longer? Yes. Um... I mean, 55,000 tons is... Still enormous. Uh, what do these go up to normally? 60. <sighs> okay. Uh, interesting. This is the best rear tower. I can fit a gun on it. Um, I'm guessing we're going to stick with three... 50s. Well, we do have a bigger gun. We have the Mark three, three five six millimeter. So rather than a three fifty, we could go up potentially to I don't know possibly even three eighty. Um, what are these in, uh, regulars? Yeah, we've got the Mark three fourteen 14-inch. Um, uh, da -da 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 -da. let's have a look. Uh, does it fit on here, first of all? Yes, it does. Um, go for... Three, I mean 360, but that's not that different from a, a 350 that we've already got. Um, out of interest. Oh no, it won't let me go. It won't let me do that. Uh, that's a 370. What about a 375? Yeah, that's not too bad. 0.67 rounds a minute. It's not great. Uh, oh, that, um, that bobbit doesn't actually let me put something underneath it. Well, that's disappointing. That's very disappointing. I might as well... Use a different tower then. Uh, let's go with that one. Uh, I'm guessing a standard barbet. Oh, no, that looks weird. Bar medium barbet then. Yes. Uh, do <laughs> okay, and then casements, we'll use the 155s. Uh, yeah, 
plus three. 45 caliber is fine. Uh, now then, we could put in some more 155s. Do I get access to a barbet? Yes, I do. Oh, I see why it doesn't want to do that. Okay. But we can have this little bank of triple 155s on the side. That gives it a, a lot of secondary firepower. Should prove tricky, although I might move that one to there so it can actually fire forward. This one to here. So this one can be tucked up in there. Of course it's not mirroring. <sighs> Doesn't look as elegant, I will admit. But it should actually work a bit more effectively. Um, yeah, these ones, they can't fire fully forward. They can nearly fire fully forward. They can sort of fire like this. Um, Okie dokie. Uh, oil. Geared turbine. Orcs diesel. We can balance boilers to get that efficiency above a hundred. Mm -hmm. Also, one of the reasons we could maybe go bigger is we have access to semi-auto loaders. 0.81 rounds a minute. That's without crew. Okie dokie. Armoring. We're at 135. This is where it's going to get tricky because I don't think we're going to be able to armor against these very effectively. Uh, I think 100 and 150 on the four and a half belts. Maybe 200 on the main deck. With yeah, call it call it a hundred four and a half deck one fifty on the superstructure. Putting on nearly a five hundred millimeter main belt, which is kind of what I want. Um, that's stupidly thick. Uh, I think we could maybe do that on the turrets. 249, 240 then. Maybe, maybe, I'll call it 480. Uh, let's call this one 400. And. One five five, 180, 80, 80. That saves me a lot of weight. And in fact, we are pretty much bang on. They're expensive, is the only thing I'd say. At 700 million, they are double the price of a Valorous. What is making them that expensive? Um... Engines on this thing are very expensive. Well, I guess that's, that's just what happens. Inflation is a thing. Those are going to be really expensive to build. But uh, I'll save that design. And I will also...
start work on some destroyers because we now have the modern destroyer. Here it is. Um, which can make what's my max size? Two four hundred. Uh, two two thousand tons. They don't have to be. They don't have to be big. They can, in theory, go thirty seven knots. Although that seems unlikely. Oh, I like that tower. Yes, that's a good tower. A funnel. And probably the standard Bobette tower. Yeah, let's go with this one. Uh, do, do, do. Okay. Guns. Uh, what did my last destroyer have? The 130. Yeah, let's stick with that. I still don't have uh, twin guns for destroyers. Um, but I think this will do. So we're going to be going up to three, whereas the Tonkanoi <laughs> only had two. Um, a single torpedo launcher on the back. Four inch torps, very heavy. So not set, that's nice. We've gone nine percent over. Um armor. Let's just say that some exists in theory. Two point five mil is is pathetically small. Give the turrets a little bit of armor. Um, I need to lose 165 tons. Um, yeah, it's the engines and boilers. What if I go 36 knots? Yeah, it gives me a little bit back. What about 34 like the other destroyers? And lose a pepper range and grabbed. There we go. Okay. Simple enough. Uh, should be fine. I'll save this. I'll get them building. I'll get those new battleships building, and we'll see where we are. Okay, we're okay on our shipbuilding cap. We're okay on our budget. Um, and we have a bunch of destroyers, 23 of them to be exact, and three new Verite class, which should bring us up to a nice even... 100 destroyers um, and uh, otherwise there's not that much going on uh, next thing to do um, is a refit on the Leons let's have a look at them I'm not thinking these will need a radical refit at least I hope not. Uh, well, okay, maybe they do. Let's take those off. Um, it's going to pop one down there. Take them off for now. Because we could replace them with triples. That gives the ship... Uh, a touch more in the way of secondary firepower. Um, that's actually pretty funny, the idea of putting a secondary gun down here. Ah, screw it, let's do it. They're getting an extra 155 down the bottom. Um, and these will be 55s. 
Nice. Uh, these are all 80 mils. What else can we improve with the ship? Uh, well, it doesn't have to run on coal anymore. Which also means we can get rid of the induced boilers. They're not electro hydro, just regular electric. Still, reinforced bulkheads too, anti-flood three. That is a very much needed upgrade. Uh, much bigger, nastier torps. Better rate of fire. Better range finders, RDF, and I think we're looking pretty solid. Now, the question is, what do we do here? Now, I could try and upgrade her, her guns. The most obvious thing to do would be to give her triple turrets instead of twins. Um, but I... I think that changes the character of the ship a little bit too much to do all at once. Maybe in the future we could do that. Um, we should take it from six guns to nine. I mean, you could just also just slap another turret on the front, but that's going to take her overweight. Um, I The thing that they're really lacking, though, is speed. Because uh, 18 knots makes them very slow. Oh, okay. Uh... Can get them to 21. Oh, if I lost 88 tons, I could get them to 23 knots. Um, I don't know, I haven't done the layers properly, but that's fine. I'll wait until I have all or nothing for them to do that. Uh, there's nothing obvious to drop. 88 tons. Um, no, they're just going to have to stick at 22 knots for now. Might be able to get them later when we get geared turbines. Or double geared steam turbines. But uh, yeah, a nice little... Uh, little upgrade there, grabbing an extra extra 155mm turret on the back. Lovely. Right, I'll get those refitting, and then I'm going to go in the turn for a bit and uh, see what the next refit is going to be. Next on the refit list are the Aspiran Urbers, uh, which might actually be trickier than I think. Um, I'm going to do the components first and see where we end up. Because quite a few of them are going to increase weight. Max HG. Um, electrical. Because we try and put 24 inch torpedoes on these things. It's going to be a bit of a tricky one, I think. Yes, not everything fits. Try and move those guns back towards the rear of the ship. Oh, means move this back to here. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's too heavy. Um, but a triple launcher is not. Hmm. Interesting. So the Aspiran Herbers would gain quite a lot from that. Can we make them go faster? Yeah. We could gain a couple of knots of speed. They can gain an extra torpedo tube. And of course, this is a much bigger torpedo tube. <laughs> um, they should increase their threat quite a lot, actually. Hmm, yes. Okay, uh, I'll order that, and then, uh, well, I'll see you again when I'm doing the next ship in the list. Right, next on the list is the Indomptable. 
Um, which, unfortunately, <laughs> this is going to be tricky. Because her 260mm guns... I don't know if I can get them to fit anymore. Um, no. They don't. They don't fit. Okay. Um... Right, what are we going to do then? So... So yeah, these these don't fit at all, do they? Do these? No. None of the main guns fit. Even the smallest ones. Well, shit. Can I can I make these? Can I can I make them smaller? No, I can't. I mean, I can fit a secondary gun in here. I can fit like one of these. But that doesn't count. Hmm. Um, bonkers question. If I take all this sh shite off. Do they fit up here? Yes. Will a 260 fit up here? Maybe. <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way. Um... Screw it. Let's go for a quad. <laughs> but I don't think I can get the rest of the ship in. Is the problem. I'm definitely not fitting one of those. Um, I need like the, the smallest towers possible. Uh, that's backwards, but that might actually help. Um, oh, these all have bits. I need a shorter one. Oh, actually. If it wasn't for the need for a funnel. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wait. No, game, you can't let me do that. <laughs> hey, it says it's okay. <laughs> what the hell, game? <laughs> what the hell? Uh, that is unreasonably funny. <laughs> oh, dearie me. <laughs> that is hilariously entertaining. Can we make it work? Um, probably not. <laughs> Might have to go to triples. <laughs> Still, it, it is amusing me greatly. It looks so bad. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, it's making me cry. Um, <laughs> what's these all? Oil. Oh, okay, I was hoping oil would save me. Oh, yeah, medium range. Uh, okay, I need to sort the armor on these. Um, uh, can we get them? 21 knots? No. Well, drop their range again. They don't really need range. Oh, but uh, they would be 
need balanced boilers to do that. Yeah, let's go 21... Uh, 21 balance. Sure. Whatever. Um, <laughs> it's going to take seven months. Uh, because of the nonsense. Um, let's make them... What? I want them to be 45s, but the game's doing that. I think it doesn't update them. Screw it. 46. What's the rate of fire on those? 1.37. Okay. Well, that really is a franking ship. <laughs> what on earth? Oh my goodness. It's the, the funnel on the back. Uh, right, okay, let's save this. Next on the refit list are the Brewy, or Brewick's class heavy cruisers, which again look like they're facing fairly serious refit. Well, that 180 fits. Uh, ooh, yes, there we go. Triple, triple, triple. Oh, oh, yes, that's an upgrade in firepower. And then we can upgrade the 80 mil to, well, I'm not allowed to fit one there. Triple smell. Tell you what, we can do a mixture. Are oh, those are still only Mark 3s? Oh, fine. Get some single... Some single 50s. Fine, 36. Call it 35, 35, 35, 40s. There we go. Um, <laughs> short, that's so dodgy on the front. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, at least we don't need to do <laughs> radical nonsense like move it like the the funnels on the poor old indoctrinal. I I do feel a little bit bad for what I just did to them. Um, two. I'm guessing we have superb engine efficiency now. Enough that I could consider taking off a funnel if I wanted. That will add to the refit time, I suspect, but now that we're overweight, might actually be worth considering. Oh, nope, 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 nope. There we go. Hmm, 111 percent. Um, yes, I think we can move two of the funnels. That allows me to move the tower back. And allows me to move the forward turret back, or it would if I didn't have structural boats. Uh, structural boats. I do loathe structural boats. Intently. Although, <laughs> there's no structural boats on the back. No, no, you can't let me do that. <laughs> uh, 116%. Um, okay, that has to go there. <laughs> How can we make this, this work? <laughs> Most of the weight is in the turrets. Um, 
understandable, seeing as I'm trying to cram quite a lot of firepower on firepower onto this ship. Um, what about if we minimum range her? That did not help at all. Um, yeah, that's an insane amount of turret to try and put on. Fun though that is, I don't think it's practical. What we could do though is move all of them up onto the top deck and put an 80 mil on the back. And now I only need to lose 3%. And that, oh, 15 tons. Come on, we can shave 15 tons off the ship somewhere. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Another Franken ship. Oh, my word. Game, what are you letting me do here? <laughs> that somehow... Uh, yeah, it does actually have an offset, which is pretty rare in uh, in the mod. But, um, sure. <laughs> as, as, a co as, a, as a convoy escort, I think that'll do fine. It's got a surprising amount of firepower to throw at somebody. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's get those refitting. Right, uh, next up is <laughs> the Colony Class Light Cruiser. This is going to be a train wreck, isn't it? Um, do I have... Oops. Do I have a smaller front tower? Uh, yes. There we go. Uh, let's make these 105s rather than 110s. Um, let's right. Uh, can we get twin 105s? We can, but they're the ugly ones. We could also upgun her and give her 130s. Which might be fun. Two hundred and thirty millimeter guns is a little bit more interesting. Uh, uh, yeah, forty forty fives. Uh, she has forty millimeter. Can we make those fifty millimeter guns, please? Um, try and get rid of some of the weirdness. Uh, one, let's go one fifth. Oh, okay. One thirty. Fifty, fifty. There we go. Try and get rid of some of the weirdness on this hull by increasing the weirdness. Da da da. Oops, Daisy. Sorry about that. Wow, this thing is getting a certain amount of. Protection upgrade, that's for sure. And firepower. There, there we go. Um, they still suck, in my opinion. Um, but they suck less. <laughs> Um, okay, can we put more armor on now? Nope. I mean, we could at least put a semblance of armor on on her, I suppose. Uh, 50, 25, 25, uh, I don't know, 10. Uh, there we go. Now, an hour is stupidly overweight. Uh, right, they don't need to be ultra long range. They don't need to be spacious anymore. In fact, I'd rather have them as short range cruisers. Oh, 300% engine efficiency. 
we could uh, dump a funnel. There we go. Restructured. Um, I actually think they look better. <laughs> they still look really fun. I love, I love the French cruiser guns, the modern ones, and on these old, old hulls, they look really funny. Um, sure, it's not like the colonies ever get into fights anyway, but um, if they do, now they'll be a little bit more capable. All right, next up is the Alsace, um, our first battle cruiser. She's never had a refit, so this could, yes, potentially be a bit of an issue. I'm just going to move that gun and shove it somewhere over there uh, for now. We'll come back to that. Um, right, full oil. Uh, gear the turbines, add an auxiliary diesel instead of a petrol, upgrade the electrics. Uh, two, better bomb protection, better citadel and torpedo protection, and internals, all very helpful. Better shells, semi auto guns, and improved turrets, improved rain fighting, RDF. And that is pretty solid. I shouldn't need to fiddle with the armor too much. The only thing is how do we fit on the uh, the six inches, the one five fives? Um, yeah, because they are too big now. Well, I can fit one here. I could fit one here, potentially. Um, but I actually think what I'm going to do is... I'll put one here f just temporarily. Again, this is just so I don't lose the stats on them. Get rid of that one. Put a triple up here. Because what I'm thinking is something a little bit different. Uh, where is it? Oh, I was going to put in the barbette that can shoot over the top, but we don't have access to it. Uh, never mind. I rethink. Um, well, okay, I can fit the forward firing pair there. I guess I could put the rear firing ones down here, but it's not great. I might have to take the 155s off. I don't want to do that, particularly. But I don't think they fit on the hull anymore. Um. Unless... We can do some funky stuff here. Let's see if I take those off. Somehow that's allowed. It looks a bit weird. Um, can I really not get that? No, that's as far as it will go. Um, there we go. Getting a slightly taller above it in there. Uh, I think that's going to be the same, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. 
there. That looks a little bit more sensible. Um, well, that is still quite clearly ridiculous. <laughs> uh, right, can then move this back again. That's a lot of fiddling, I know. Be worth it in the end. Because, yeah, well, we used to have four guns on this. Four 155s that could fire either side. We now have six guns that can fire either side. So we have, in fact, increased the secondary battery in a very complicated manner. Um, but, uh, yes, that's fine. Uh, could we get many bulk kits on? No. Well, we could if we dropped the range a touch. But I think I'll leave it as standard standard because range is pretty darn handy on a battle cruiser. Yes. Okie dokie. A little bit of a rearrangement, but that should that should work just fine. The Truders are the next ships into the refit. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, the 105 twins. I don't know why they they're like they're like Italian guns with the guns right next to each other. They're the only French guns that do this, I think. I'm thinking of upgrading these guys to 130s. I think a 130 might fit. No, no, it doesn't. Poo. All right, you're keeping your single 105s. Um, this is just going to be a component upgrade, then. Uh, sonar, coincidence 4, RDF, 24-inch torpedoes, Jesus. Semi-automatic guns. New shells and propellant. New internal protections. Uh... Upgrade all of this. Geared turbines. And full oil. Oh dear. 4% overweight. Uh, many bulkheads? Standard bulkheads. Oh Jesus. Um, yeah, the torpedo hits most of the weight is torpedo tubes. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Uh, Okay, we're going to have to reduce. So you get one shot <laughs> out of each launcher. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, you're running 51 millimeter as well. There we go. Uh, is that enough to put the reload back in? <gasps> Four tons. Hmm. Uh... Yes, there we go. <laughs> oh my god, these things are actually surprisingly dangerous. Yeah, four 24-inch torpedo tubes aside. What's the range on those? 12 kilometers. Yeah, you'd be looking at this and thinking, oh, that's pathetic. <laughs> it's like, whoa! <laughs> uh... 30,000 damage those things do currently. Alright, another one for the refit schedule. Next up are the Normandies. Let's go into the refit mode. Um, Alright, let's do components first. Electric tool. I mean, they're basically torpedo boats at this point. Uh, and you also have somehow developed 51 mil. They 
There was never any such thing as a 51 millimeter gun. There we go. Uh, hmm. Could potentially change the ship a little bit. Well, the main thing would be that we can replace the 80 millimeter jewels with 80 millimeter triples. For a little bit of extra firepower. Uh, could in theory replace these with triples, but we'll avoid that for now. We could f mess around with funnels. Um, but this this hull has all these has these boat cranes here, which means that you can't really put anything else here. And the front tower is irritating. And the A you can't put it over here, and B it's quite big, so I think we'll leave it leave it there for now. Um, don't see any reason to adjust them any more than this. And uh, we'll add that one onto the refit schedule as well. All right, next up, it's the democracies. Uh, and first thing I'd like to do is to upgrade their 155s to triple guns and upgrade their 80 mils to triple guns. For more pew pew pew. Uh, Cheeky little 50 mils. Right, there we go. Uh, and these will be 155.45s. There we go. Uh, do, 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 do. RDF. Coincidence. 24 inch tops. Because why not? Uh, da, da, da. That's where we're going to start adding weight significantly. I already had Nox too. Yeah, we got a little bit back. Our engine efficiency is very high. I'm going to remove this funnel. Which I actually think improves the profile of the ship anyway. And I'm going to reduce range to medium. And then we're underway. Cool. Well, that's not too bad. Uh, noticeable increase in secondary firepower. And, uh, yeah, just improvements all around. Should help them a fair bit. Uh, again, I'll just add them into the refit schedule and uh, keep doing what I'm doing. Hmm. Okay. Um, refits uh, will probably continue, but we. I really uh, one of the things I will I do want to do with the mod is like you you have ticks where you get nothing, and then you have a tech where you get three hulls at once. Okay, to be fair, one's light, and one's heavy, but I get two light cruisers at the same time, um, and all I'm going to do as a player is I'm going to have a look at those two hulls and I'm going to pick which one I prefer. Whereas if you get them more spread out, then, you know, you might actually have a chance <laughs> to uh, to build on both. So uh, we will come back to the heavy cruiser. That's the same old boring light cruiser you always get. Uh, this one looks like it might be fun, though. Uh, yeah, 10,000 ton light cruiser going th potentially 30, 33 knots, not three. Uh, main tower, large refit tower. I think the middle one offers the best value for money. Wow, that's cute. That is, that's a very squat tower. Kind of like it. Uh, a destroyer funnel. And a very weird selection of rear towers. And I think oh, I want this one because it is not enormous. Uh, yeah. P 
People are going to tell me that's backwards, aren't they? But it's not turning around. That's that's the way it wants to go. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. It, it's flipping. Oh, that that looks backwards to me. Let's see if we can get it to do it again. Uh, there. Okay, good. That looks. Uh, that might even be the backwards configuration, but it makes a lot more sense to me to be that way around. Um, you can tell me in the comments what's correct. Uh, we're obviously going to go for the 155 mil. Because that has been doing extremely well for us. Go for the 45 caliber version. Uh, wow, I got a lot of deck space. I like that. in this hole so far. Uh, I think eight will be uh, plenty. What was our last light cruiser hull that we built? Uh, goodness, it was a long time ago. Was it all the way back to La Motte Piquet's? It might well have been. Goodness, those carry uh, four 155s, and we're going up to eight. And I think there's room right here for some torpedoes. Oh, don't be annoying. Game's like, oh no, it's too close. No, it isn't. The problem is, that's with an 18-inch. Put a 24-inch torp on, it's going to moan at me. I can stick it in there, but fire arcs are rubbish. Uh, bollocks. Oh, I can just put them there? Okay, explain to me, game, why that is fine, but that is not. <laughs> fine. Whatever. Uh, wow, that's, that's an amusing ladder. <laughs> mm. But yeah, we can put them on the front. It means they can fire forwards as well, pretty much. Which could be hilarious. Uh, secondary guns... Nah. Nah, we'll leave it for now. Uh, although, there is something else we could do. Can maybe put a twin launcher back here? Yes, there we go. That means that I'll have torpedoes with a different... Uh, different reload. Uh, so that if I fire both of them at the same time, these ones will reload, and then I'll have these ones spread the torpedo shooting out a little bit. All right. So let's go standard everything for now. Uh, oil, gear turbines. Mm, I'm going to slow it down by a knot. just to keep my efficiency above 100%. Standard base fuse to count ballistics. Coincidence. RDF. And we have plenty left over. Uh, I am looking at light cruiser rebalance because at the moment I find that they are just a little bit too easy to build. Um, what do you want? Still 135% armor quality. Well, okay. Um, well, 150 meter belts would be lovely, but you won't let me. Fine. 100, 50, 50, 50, 25. 25, 50, uh, what, what can I put on these? 180, 180, 180, uh, 50, 25, 50, oops, 25, and, I don't know, 50. Wow, okay, not everything I would want. It's pretty well armoured. 
Uh, standard everything. I've got 2% left. Many. Many bulk kits. Sure. El Glacionaire. A, a nice new light cruiser. Very good. Uh, I'll save that. I will have a quick look at the heavy cruiser. Um, heavy cruiser ones... Well, I actually have two of them. <laughs> I have the this garbage hull that I hate. And we have this one. What towers do I get for it? Oh, that's a very boring hull. Okay, we'll skip both of these because I actually prefer... <laughs> I prefer the... Um, the, the Vengas and the Saigons. I'll just build some some of those new La Glacionaires. Those are cool. I had like Cruiser 5 and I never built on it. Seriously? Oh, I remember. I, ha I got the Light Cruiser 5 and then I realised I only had single barrel guns. I remember now. Oh well, the, the Light Cruiser 6 is just be the same hull but slightly better. So that's fine. I don't feel I've missed out. Uh, I'm going to figure out how many of these I can build. All right, I decided to build seven of the La Glacionaires. Uh, that will bring me up to 50 light cruisers total, which I think is a nice round number. Uh, and that is the only thought behind my reasoning. Uh, otherwise, things are fine. We've taken Xinjiang. Um, Austria-Hungary continues to absorb most of what was Russia because I'm just not getting the event. Uh, Japan has taken Russian Far East and Vladivostok. Um, yeah, I'm just not getting the events. I got two. I got Well, to be fair, I did get three pretty pretty good ones, but um, particularly this. This is a very nice province for us to have. Uh, Politics-wise, France continues not only to be number one, but to accelerate away from everyone else um in terms of our economy we really have the snowball going uh, the top four well not the top four countries but the uh, britain austria hungary france and japan all enjoy relatively harmonious relations apart from austria hungary and japan who don't like each other that much um and then we have these two <laughs> Italy, which is now growing, um, despite being at war with Japan, uh, which, yeah, it's not the bit... It, it's very hard for Italy and Japan to actually fight each other, basically. Um, I've had that situation where we've been playing Japan, I get into a war with Italy, and it's like, I don't I don't care. I don't want to be at war with Italy. Uh, the, the, the trouble, the one that's troubling me though is the United States. They are stubbornly refusing to get their economy going. Um, and I think I know why. Because the United States still owns Western Germany and Northern and, and Western Spain. And I think these are actually a massive drag on the American economy. I, can't, I don't know why. But it feels like that is what's happening. That America is really not getting much... Even though these should be really high-income provinces, these appear to be causing them more problems than, than they're solving. And I think that is to do with transport cap. Because, uh, although I'm not 100% sure of this, I think... You need more transport capacity, not more transports, the more spread out your empire is. That makes sense to me, right? So I think so building enough transports to integrate these far flung but very significant provinces because into the American economy is costing them so much in terms of shipping that it's actually hampering their overall economic growth. That's all I can think of to explain that. Whereas France is somehow just going absolutely bonkers. Um, I, I, why it's not affecting me as much, I don't know. Although I, I am not able to get my transport cap uh, up um, very high. So... 
maybe it is affecting me. I'm just throwing more money at it because I can. Uh, US sitting on about 700 million in naval funds. It's not like they don't have a naval budget. Uh, do we have the most in naval funds? No, the British do. Hmm. Oh, Italy. Oh, God. That's not very much money. That's not very much money. Anyway, I shall continue to uh, monitor the world. I shall continue to refit and build until such time as we get a war, probably, against Italy. Although, it's only minus four, so it might be a while. All right, next up for a refit are the porcupines, which, okay, this is going to be... Uh, it's going to be a significant one, isn't it? Now, these currently run with 230s. They are a heavy cruiser. Um, but... I actually don't know if I made these main or secondary 155s. And I also don't know if it matters. Uh... I think 230 is now just too big. I think we go all 155 on these. I know that might seem strange, because uh, I'm basically now lowering their, their gun output. But I think long term, this will actually help. Wait, could I... Uh... No. I have a feeling I've already tried to do that. There we go. Uh, just just because, I mean, I think it'll suit their role a bit better um, to, to lose the big gun and just have a bunch of six inches, basically. Uh, and big old torps. Um... <laughs> Because I think these are probably going to be relegated to convoy defense type missions. Maybe a convoy attack, potentially. Uh, probably taking on other on light cruisers, destroyers, things like that. Rather than they're probably not going to be up against other heavy cruisers as much. Plus, uh, it saves a bit of weight for. The rest of the refit. Right, we're at 300% engine efficiency, which means we can probably lose funnel. That saves a bit of weight. Uh, let's make them look very odd. The single funnel. Uh, yeah, I'm going to reduce their range as well, uh, which is going to limit their mission chances. But yeah, port defense, convoy defense, stuff like that, basically. Uh, five months to do that. It's not too bad, actually, considering the amount of stuff we just changed. All right. I'll get that on the go. And, well, back to uh, back to monitoring things and planning refits. Welcome back. We've taken control of Vanuatu. Finally got a conquest mission, which is nice. Uh, where did I pull this from? Hong Kong, I think. Right, uh, we also have more space on the slipways. So it's time to pull in the tonnants for a refit. I know normally when I'm playing, I'm like, oh, wait till I get this until I refit ships. But I'm kind of enjoying this, this way of just, nope, next on the list. In it goes for a refit. Right, okay. Again, the 230s are just simply... Too big, I think. Yeah, too big. They're going to have to go. Uh, right, we're also going to have to get rid of those. Let's do the 80s first. Upgrade those two triples. And then... What kind of gun is going to fit on there? I mean, we could do the same thing where we just use the, the 155. I mean, it has been a very successful gun, and it will, I mean, do the job. The other option is to use the 
10. Which might also fit. Oops. Let's try a 210. Uh, no, 210 doesn't fit on the back. One, five, fives it is. Right, uh, gun lengths and things. Get rid of the weird 51 millimeter nonsense. 155s, there we go. Forty fives. All well, the other legs look fine. Uh, let's go 180, 80, 80 on the turrets. Right, and then get into the actual upgrades, including big old torps. Again, this is kind of a side grade for this ship. Um, it also means that we we don't have as many weird calibers uh, in the fleet, or at least I don't think we do. I'll probably find out afterwards that I've somehow increased the number of calibers in the fleet. Uh, get turbines and full oil. We can actually have a little bit of uh, displacement back. And 300% engine efficiency means... We can redo the funnel stacks. Can we just get away with a triple funnel? Yeah. Just a triple funnel. And that gives us quite a lot of weight back. Can we can we up speed? 23. Can we go to 25? We could go to 25 knots. Okay, that's a nice little upgrade then. Um, extra speed. Different guns, improved internal protection. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, I'll get that on the go. All right, the Tonnerres next, which look like they are having yeah issues. Those two sixties, I don't think are going to fit anymore. And something's going on with the tower. I think it just needs picked up and plopped down again. Again. 51 millimeter, piss off. No 51 millimeter here. Right. Um, hmm. Well, we can start off by upgrading the 80 mils from jewels to triples. Uh. Hmm. Main guns. Uh, I think it's probably going to have that. Well, yeah, these what these guys can have the two tents. Maybe. Oh yeah, that was. It's the back. It's the rear. It's the rear mount that's the problem. Uh, they're going to have 155s again then. <laughs> Good old 155. Cool. Can I? No. <laughs> Wonder if I could do some nonsense with it. But no, right. Uh, RDF, for instance, four big old torps. Internal protection. Should help them turn a bit more. More boiler. Ah, there we go. 
These, again, could use... Well, I could just delete a funnel. Probably the easiest thing to do. And... Then... To be honest, I think... Can we also make these do 25 knots? Can we make them do 26 knots? <laughs> Let's make them do 25, though. Because they'll be the same as the other heavy-ish cruisers. And... Uh, they can have a little, little bit of extra range. So they're still over 10,000 metres of range. It's not terrible. It's a little bit undergunned. Is my primary complaint. Um, it's basically just a brick. <laughs> it just sits there spewing out small arms fire and torpedoes. But, you know, never know. They might work. And if they don't, they'll be sunk. So that's just how it works in the French Navy. All right, we've taken the Caroline Islands. I've got a conquest mission, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to move these ships back. I'm just going to pop you in Shanghai. Uh, you can go into Hangzhou, because there's no, there's no ships there at all at the moment. Uh, you can go back to Cameron Bay. Doop. And you can go to Hong Kong. Boom. Right. Uh, refits done. Uh, which means the Jean d'Arcs are next. Yes, and I'm pretty sure, uh, <laughs> thank you commenters, who said that the um, secondaries are not balanced. They're not symmetrical for some reason. Nope, they're not. <laughs> well, I can finally fix it <laughs> by, well, for now, taking off uh all the secondaries up there because we're gonna have to we're gonna have to re redo the secondary battery basically uh do, 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 do. see you know, actually not that much of an upgrade now the refits are starting to run into just pretty uh pretty minor stuff category. Still useful though, especially that semi-auto loading and improved rangefinder. Lovely. Now then, how to redo the 155s? Because yeah, they don't fit back here anymore. Well, I can fit a pair here. Uh, no, I do, oh, I do get side barbettes. Oh, on a very restricted arc. What happens if I flip them? Still a very restricted arc. I would need to widen the beam of the ship to get them in. Do I have the... Yeah, I do. Hmm. I don't have the weight to spare on it, but uh, let's give it a go. No, no, no. One, five, five, triple. Firing over the top. Balls. I'm going to have to move everything forward, aren't I? Uh, unless there's another way of doing it. And then. Oh, fuck you! Yeah, I would have to move everything forwards then. Excuse me. Shifting forwards. 
du. Du, 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 du. Du. Äh. Was? Ja, yeah, there we go. There. Back, back, back. And. Boom. Get rid of those. Get this back. Get this back. Get this back. Again, wish we had the group command, but we don't. It's going to send the ship a little bit overweight, which I was expecting because I have <sighs> lengthened the citadel. Uh, considerably here. Uh, 45, so there we go. Right, 2%. Oh, these already had downgraded range? I can downgrade them again, but it's a battle cruiser. Is there any other way to get the weight down? 490 tons. Uh, I mean, they do have very thick armor. Hmm. Although, now that I've taken the secondaries onto the center line, now reducing beams not going to help. I don't think. Well, maybe it does. No, that makes it worse. Hmm. Uh, I mean, there's few bulkheads. That's a bit of an extreme method, though. I don't really like running them with less than standard. I mean, 15,500 is still okay for range. Screw it. We'll do that. It does limit them a little bit. But uh, it means an older ship is getting into less battles. So it's not the end of the world. Right. I shall save that and I shall get it on the go with the refits. All right. We've got the modern heavy cruiser 2, which is very nice. Um, Russian Empire is still getting divided up. I'm amazed we haven't seen them try and reform. But I think... I think Russia's out permanently at this stage. <laughs> Quite a lot of countries are just flat gone. Um, I sent it, um, the trade deal with the US to try and give them a little bit of a, a leg up. It doesn't seem to have helped them. They just their economy is just totally stalled out. And I don't. I'm not entirely sure why. Like they should be fine, but apparently not. Um, our economy is going gangbusters which is fantastic and yeah we have nothing building at the moment which is no good at all um who's next up for a refit the hover class destroyers okay well let's have a look at the let's have a look at the heavy cruiser 2 hull first of all uh, do, do, do. well take your time uh, hull. Do, 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 do. Modern Heavy Cruiser 2. Uh, well. Okay, we maybe make something of this. Um, a 34 knots. Wow, that would be. That would be pretty crazy. Although they're pretty big at, for that. Um. I don't see why we wouldn't go for the top end tower this time. Not oh, much of a much as they're all going to be the same size, aren't they? Yeah, pretty much. Let's go for that. 
Um, funnels. A couple of mega funnels. Should give us. It should give us plenty of funnel capacity. Hmm. Okay, I. We do have access to some bigger guns. Then the fingers used. Where have they gone? Yeah, because they used two tens. I do like that rate of fire though. Because the two ten the forty Caliber has the really nice rate of fire. Two rounds a minute base, and that's without putting on the semi-auto loaders. 2.46 rounds a minute. It does look about right size on this hull, too. Um, but I think the obvious upgrade is to go for 12. And go for number of barrels... Over. Do they fit on that? Because that's a really sexy barbet. Nope. Um, let's go for the, the square one. Yeah, that works. No, it doesn't. Um, oh, the fishing boat one. It does work, though. Okie dokie. There we go. So go for 12, basically 8 inch guns. Okay, what about secondaries? Nope. Uh, I mean, talking single 50 mil, really. Not going to be the world's greatest, but uh, not the end of the world to have a little bit of little bit of backup. Let's just go for 35s. Um, torpedo launchers would be nice. Uh, 24 inch. Yeah, they don't, they don't fit on the sides, but we do get underwater launchers. Well, that's a pleasant surprise for anybody who um, tries to <laughs> engage this ship. I think we could probably reduce beam if we wanted. I would get the cost down, maybe get the displacement down. But yeah, we got plenty of money. Let's see how it goes as we build the ship out. Uh, one, two. Mind you, a lot of our systems are electrical. I might actually... No, we've only got electric batteries one. Leave it with an auxiliary diesel for now. Um, base... Use. Got out three. That's new. That's new. There we go. We're up to five... 95% displacement, so... I think we're looking... Pretty decent as we haven't put any armor on yet. Still at 135. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Right. Uh, 200 millimeters of armor would be lovely. Ooh. The armor I would like, and it puts me three percent overweight. Hmm, these do have excellent range, so I don't mind dropping that a touch, and then I would only need to lose 48 tons. What about lowering their speed? Can I do this? Yes, I prefer that. 
32 knots, 26,000 kilometer range, and many bulkheads. The Arrogant class. Just lots of lots of 210 millimeter rounds. Which, uh, if I don't know what the point is on, uh, if I go to inch, 8.3 inch. There you go. With pretty pretty solid looking armor, if you ask me. Yes, she'll do just fine. All right, I'll see how many I can afford to build and uh, get those going, and I'll see you. Uh, with the names and things. Uh, hello? Uh, recording shortcut. <laughs> Please work. Right, I'm going to save the design. Because my computer is crashing. Save. Save recording. Oh, it's doing something. He's thinking about it. Oh, please don't flake out on me. Give me a moment. Um... All right. Um, I don't know why why the recording is being weird, but um, yeah, we I put eight under construction. Uh, we I think we're okay finances wise. Yes, uh, we're spending a little bit of money, but that's because I've got tech spending at a hundred percent again. Um, we should should be positive again soon enough, and uh, yeah, I'll be back uh, when we are positive in money to start the next round of refits. Well, we uh, we definitely have a new new hull to deal with. We have four. Okie dokie. Uh, I don't even know where that's going to be. We'll find out in a minute. Right, let's have a look at these hulls. <coughs> Excuse me. What are we dealing with here. Uh, take your time, game. Tickety tock. Right, we've got the modernized dreadnought one, two, modernized one, modernized two. And then we have the two moderns. Do you know what? I think <clears throat> I think I might build on all four of these. I think we you know there's no reason not to build on all four. I mean, it kind of sucks that you get these... You can't upgrade your Dreadnoughts to these hulls. Because um, really there's no... <laughs> there's nothing attractive about these. They're slow. The modern Battleship one is just flat out better. I guess we would end up on the modern battleship one in that case. Hmm. Uh, oh, what to do, what to do, what to do. What do we have gun wise? Yeah, we've got these Mark III 406, which is a 16 inch gun. So we could build like a 420 millimeter gun, which could be pretty spicy. Or we could use 15 inch and build a 400 millimeter gun. Um, because the where are they? The verites are now finished. These are only go 23 knots, right? Well, these could go. F um, no, they're just slow. The modern is just such a cut above, but we don't have the tech for it yet. We don't have double geared steam turbines. So maybe the modernized one and two do make sense. 
Hmm. Okay. Uh, right, I want them to be long, but I... Well, 44,000 tons. How does that compare to a Verite? That's actually smaller. Okay, so the modern Dreadnought 1 doesn't make any sense. It wouldn't make sense for us to go back and make a smaller ship. But it does make sense to build a bigger ship. Now, I'm not going to go for 64,000 tons. That's insane. Uh, we're going to go minimum beam and draft on this ship to start with. That would make them the same size as the Verites. Can we go minus 5, minus 10? Uh, yeah, 58. 58,000 <clears> could certainly be interesting. Uh, 20... Let's make them go 23 knots, same as all the other dreadnoughts that we've built. Towers. Oh, these are British towers. How how lovely. That means we want the flat-backed one. With the one that's not totally enormous, which I think is the door. And ooh, can I get two doors in? No. Definitely no. Just the one then. And then... Yeah, the 420 is very tempting. Uh, 420mm 50 caliber gun is actually a little crazy. Uh, no, I think I want the enlarged. Trouble is, I don't know if I'm going to have the displacement to actually put these on. But that would be potentially a very interesting, a very interesting ship. Um, oh, we're not going to fit 155s on it anywhere, are we? Nope. It's just going to be the little 80 millimeter. Oh, it won't fit in there either. Oh, that's really irritating. I guess some single 50? Just dotted around. It's basically an AA battery at that point. But okay. Uh, negative one. Plus four. Um, 35s, 35s. Although, can I get to like 40s on this? No. Cool. Okay. Uh, oh, it does have an underwater tube. <laughs> That's pretty funny, but uh, no, I don't think so. I think we're I think we're past the stage of putting putting uh, torpedo tubes on. Uh, we do have a hundred percent efficiency. Yeah, we don't have all or nothing yet. We don't have double geared steam turbines. I think that going straight for the modern would maybe be just a little bit too early. And I think we need to build down a ship with different systems first. The other problem is armoring this ship is basically not going to happen. And we're overweight. I think I'm going to go down to a 400. Uh, it'll also look more like a dreadnought. We go to uh, 400 millimeter 50. As I save a lot of weight, and 
I won't feel as under armoured. Also, rare to see. I mean, friendships in real life never used triples. But now we're at 98%. And we haven't done the armour. That makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. Uh, even though, realistically, we're not going to be able to armour against these guns. We're really armouring against... 4,000, I wish. Um, uh, armouring against... Uh, smaller weapons. 150... Although... Yeah, 150 is not enough anymore. 200... The 420 on the... Wow, those are thick. Thick turrets. Um. There we go. 99%. Still with a maximum bulkhead, still with standard range. Yeah, the going for the 420s is just too much. Wow, those are expensive. Those are really expensive, but uh, I think they'll, I think they'll do well, or at least I hope they'll do well. Um, plus, you know, fifteen-inch gun, very French caliber. Even though they never actually used a four hundred millimeter gun, I think it was like it would be like three three eighty or something, wouldn't it? Um, still. Decent, a stepping stone to the modern battleship. All right, I'll save this. I will build three of them, uh, as usual, and I'll show you the names in a moment. All right, uh, France, Richelieu, and Voltaire under construction. Uh, this is going to cost me a fair bit, uh, so refits are going to have to wait until we are positive in the money balance once again and uh, yeah we'll I'll see, find out what territory we're attacking okay it took a while but uh, we've taken north exactly <laughs> that's the invasion it took forever I've also spent a whole pile of money um, which I don't like I've dropped under a billion so I'm gonna cut back on tech spending so that we're positive uh, 85 there we go um, uh, I've also had a few events pop up that have wiped out the naval funds, which is not helping. Uh, we do have a new destroyer hull. But again, finance is not in the best shape because we're building building stuff, but the cruisers should be finished in four months. And then we can make a start on more refits, more destroyers, possibly, um, and uh, various other things. Otherwise, it's all pretty quiet. Uh, French economy still growing very nicely. Although, people don't like us as much anymore. Um, there's no war going on. Oh, no, there is a war going on currently. Japan and Italy still at war. Uh, the next war looks like it might be Japan against everybody. Um, which I don't think it's going to go very well for them. Anyway, I'll keep an eye on that, and I'll be back with some more building shortly. All right, we've taken control of El Salvador. A nice little um, conquest mission. Finally! <laughs> um, the Navy has been doing their job with that. Oh, he's just sitting around doing fuck all at the moment. Anyway, the cruisers are finished. Um, the battleships are still ongoing. Uh, we do have new destroyers, but the very first refit to do are the hovers. Um, so we might as well get those on the go. Oh my goodness, I've got so many designs. <laughs> the game is getting really slow loading that. I should probably cut that out. Um, right. Uh, oil. Uh, gear turbines two. That's new. Do we have battery two yet? No. Uh, do have crypt three though, which is nice. 
Uh, watertight doors, any flooding, catalyst two shells, bit of cordite, uh, auto loaders, damn nice. 24 inch torps, which we're going to have to re redistribute. Coincidence five, that's very fancy, and sonar. Wow, these things got quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of stuff in that upgrade. Um, I'm assuming though that it's not happy with the position of those torpedoes. Although it's not unhappy. Nice. Uh, we could also do some upgrades. Can't get triple barrels, and the dual barrels look disgusting. We could upgrade to 130, but I think actually the best upgrade would be to slap a quintuple, oh, okay, quadruple launcher on instead of a triple launcher. And there we go. Decent little upgrade for the hovers. Right, uh, I'm going to save this, I'm going to get them refitting, I'm going to see how much money I have, and then figure out what to do next. All right, next up for refits are the Republic class. Uh, they still can't take any barbettes except, except secondary barbettes, which is a little bit annoying. Um, hmm. Well, we could actually use secondary barbettes now, potentially. Shift this to here, and I'm going to push this gun right up behind it. Do we have any new rear towers? This is the rear tower 2. This one. Um, I could go with this one. Is that basically the same size? No, this, this one's smaller though. Go with this one. There we go. So I have a cunning plan uh, involving bobbits and triple one five fives. And a slightly taller one than that, actually. Uh, tall? That does not fit a one five five, surely. Oh, uh, beans. Limited selection on this hull. Do, do. Right. Take off those side mounts for now. Uh, push that one forward a bit. Put this, push this one forward a bit. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. I know it looks a little weird, especially if I cheat and clip the guns <laughs> to get the bobbits, to get the citadel smaller, but um, hey, the game's letting me do it. Because this goes from four 155s each side to nine. Plus the casements, obviously. Uh, it does look a little weird, though. Best I can do under the circumstances. Uh, 45s. 45s. And you should be 50 millimeter, not 51. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, you can get an RDF. Coincidence 5. Big old torpedoes. Auto loaders. That's <laughs> pretty fancy. Um, all or nothing. Cook 3. Electric 2. 
double gets the user lines and oil two. And we can get rid of the induced boilers and we're at exactly 100%. Lovely. That's going to take a while, five months, but overall, I think that's a pretty decent little capability upgrade. I'd love it if the barbettes made sense on this hull, but <laughs> it'll be fine when they're actually when they actually elevate and move and stuff. Anyway, going to save this one. Get going to get them refitting. All right, next up are the Cosmos. Um, right. Uh, they had single 155s, didn't they? Yes. We could massively upgun them if we wanted. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get that to fit with the weight, but uh, that would be fun. Um, again, get rid of these. 51 millimeters that have appeared from nowhere. 45 cal. Uh, right. A sonar set. Increase the strength finder. 24 inch tools. <laughs> like, yeah, this is trying to. I'm trying to add a lot to this hole. This is going to work. Shaft three. Uh, yeah, we're not going to try and put batteries on. Well, we're getting a little bit back with the engines and oil. Oh, and it does have maximum everything. Yeah, if we pull all that back, um, then yeah, that's quite a lot of firepower for a light cruiser. It's not very efficient, but um, it'll work. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with the 51mm again? Little shit. There we go. Right, same deal. Uh, save this, and then I'll be back with the next refit. All right, next up is the Invincibles. Uh, they haven't had a refit for a while. They last got refitted in 1915. And I think, yes, we uh, now have Mark IV 12-inch guns, which is going to make this tricky. Uh, let's just take those off for now. Uh, there are, well, hopefully ways around it. Um, 320 twin. A little bit forward. Oh, well, they do still fit. No, it just needs a little bit of uh, sugarling. And we're fine. They are default length quite long. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't want to make them 56. 55 is usually right where guns go over to being too long for me. Uh... Hmm. Secondaries, we could go triple. Yes, I think we could. I mean, the quads just look weird to me. Uh, triple. Triple. There we go. And we want to make these 45s. And then the 80 mils. Oops, a daisy. Can be 40s. All right. Rest of the upgrades. Auto loaders. Yes. Fire rate 1.28 rounds a minute. Not as fast as I would hope, but that is still pretty good. All or nothing armor, actually waterproof doors, waterproof, watertight, obviously they're waterproof, they're made of like steel, but um, <clears throat> uh, we 
do have the battery system, but we're overweight, so... Yeah. Wow, the range on this thing. Can I just dump a couple of the funnels? And uh, one of these tall of ensemble threes. Damn. Uh, I mean, I have spare displacement. Oh, that's a balanced. Ah, mind you. If I move this back, no, didn't think you were going to let me do that. Uh, but what I could do. to shorten the citadel. And this is absolute heresy. Is use triple barrels. Hmm. Cuz Okay, that hasn't saved as much weight as I was hoping. Uh, it's still fun, though. <laughs> oh, it's because I'm using the balanced boilers again, isn't it? Um, uh, oh, do you know what? 98 is fine. 98 is fine. And... Yeah, sure. Why not? Triples. Makes the ship a bit simpler. And increases their forward firepower. Uh, sure. I'll save that. And we'll get them refitting as well. Alright. Next up, it's Lamotte Piquet's. Who could actually potentially have a sizable upgrade here. Because they could go up to triple 155s. <laughs> That would be pretty darn nasty. If we could get that on the weight, because they have spear displacement, these things. Very nice. And these can be replaced with triple 80 mils. Yeah, sure, just casually triple the firepower of the ship. Um, don't know if we're going to have the weight to do this. More than triple the firepower when you include auto loaders and other improvements to the gun. Um, already had an anti flood 3. Do, 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 do. Double steam turbine. Full oil. Hmm. Drop a range. Done. Amazing. All right. Uh, we've just unlocked a new hull. The battle cruiser four, and the large cruiser. Um. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Two. I wonder. I wonder what the a battle cruiser for. That's not a modern battle cruiser. So again, I might leave the large cruiser for now. Um, although we do have the Mark Four Twelve, which would be kind of perfect for it. Yeah, the battle cruiser for this is a modern hull. Um, so I think I'm going to wait until we have. Well, we've got most of the techs now. We've got most of the techs to make the modern ships work. Uh, but I'm thinking... I'm thinking a large cruiser for now, and then we'll build on the Battle Cruiser 4. Later, once we have better quads, because this this thing I suit will suit an all-forward layout. Uh, what can we do with this? Up to 32,000 tons. Let's go for an even 30. Because they don't need to be huge. They could be potentially extremely fast. 
And yeah, I'm thinking 320 millimeter guns. Um, this one looks like a pretty good deal. With, I don't like this tower, even though it's technically the best one. Uh, those are the same, but this one is a lot cheaper. Uh, it comes with the funky, like, central barbet on it, which is a little weird. Um, but maybe we can use that for secondary guns. But if we're thinking secondary guns, then the compact secondary tower 2 is probably better. Um, oh, neither. No funnel mounts? Okay, that changes things slightly. Does this come with a funnel mount? I seriously doubt it. No, so we're going to need a deck funnel. Uh, that means I'm looking at a pretty, pretty long ship with all that superstructure going on. Uh, does, is there a longer version? There is. Let's uh, put it on a bit of a diet. Uh, to get the same result. So we get the length but not the, not the super high displacement. I'm thinking nine 12 inch guns. high. But okay. Yes. And then one at the back. And then we're going to want... Wait. That puppet does not fit a 155. Okay. Um... I'm pretty sure those do support these guns. Yeah, they do. Mm, I don't, can't fit one on the side. Could maybe have one firing over the front. Yamato style. Push that back to here. Push this back to here. Funnel back, move all this back, and then maybe the standard is okay. I might need a tall. Nope, standard is fine. Oh, yeah, that does fit just about. There we go. And then... Um, <laughs> quad... Quad 50 mils. Why not? Right. Nigga one. Plus three. Lovely. Right, okay. We're at sixty eight percent. That's looking promising. Oil what's two for now. Get two turbines. Hundred percent engine efficiency. Perfect, perfect. Put three. Heavy stuff. Uh, standard ratio of 
Space Fuse, Catalystic Tools. Only, I say only, we're only at 87% displacement. Right, what do we need to armor this thing up? Probably about four. Oh no, wait, our armor quality's gone up. Do, 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 do. One, 49, sure, whatever. Close enough. Yeah, 400 would protect this thing extremely well. Uh, I think, yeah, 100 on the extended bit. The deck is going to need 200. Um, 50 mil don't get me. And we're hovering right around the region I want to be at. 50, 25, 100, 50, 25, and 4, 20, 3% over. Okay. Predominantly fuel costs, but I think if we slowed her down a little bit. Yeah, if we went to 32 knots and drop the range one pip, we'd be right around the right sort of ballpark figure for me. And that is a potentially very nasty ship for enemy heavy cruisers and things. Yes, I like them. A little bit of a throwback using the 320. But yeah, I see this more of a, a ship to take on uh, heavy cruisers, light cruisers, things like that. A little bit of a specialist ship. But uh, a very nice specialist ship, if you ask me. Yes, I I like it. Right, I'm gonna save this one. And I can see how many I can afford to build. Right, I decided to build four. Um unaware that that would send me over my displacement limit. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to suspend I think two of them. Uh, yes. Uh, anyway, um, once these battleships have finished refitting, we should have the spare displacement. How are things looking on the politics screen? Hmm. Uh, yeah, French economy going strong. Ah, uh, the Italians and the Japanese have stopped going to war. Japanese economy is absolutely rocketing off. Um, Britain and America don't like each other. Fascinating. I mean, Britain has a pretty sizable fleet now. And America is just flatlining. Absolutely flatlining. Oh, can we see America collapse in this campaign? That would be that would be insane. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Russia's also taken uh, Siberia, which is lovely for them. Again, French army just sitting around doing absolutely nothing, which is a little bit irritating. But uh, that's just what happens, I guess. Anyway, I think that's been a lot of building this episode. No, no fights. Not a single fight. Um, but I think this episode is already quite long. Um, so I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Where we'll go into the 1930s probably. Bye for now.